Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and I have some exciting new tools to share with you today. So this is a project I've been working on probably for the last five or six months now and today I get to announce them to the public and because they're actually in stock. We actually have both of these available right now, both in the United States and on our European website. So many of you know that good set of uh, nippers or sprue cutters or plastic cutters, whatever you want to call them, is very important to modeling. And a lot of times the really good ones are super expensive. So I went and found a manufacturer that produced these two for us right here. And not only are they incredible cutters, they are at a much lower price than what you would expect for similar quality. So I've got two different ones. We've got this one right here, which is the yellow stripe on it. These are the three ends for us and three for nipper. And these are the precision nippers. These are equivalent to like a three star nipper that you'll find on other brands. We also have the extreme precision nippers, which are equivalent to the four star. Beauty of this is these right here, the yellow ones here, as you see up in the corner, yellow in the corner, they all have a blue handle on it. These are $19.99 on our website and the four star or four in nippers are $39.99. Now, the reason I'm telling you that, I'm telling you that up in advance because what we're going to do is we're going to open these up, going to take them over to the bench and put them through the paces and show you how they cut plastic and how well of a job they do. So very, very impressive stuff. So I'm excited to show you how they work. So let's go over to the bench and give them a shot. So let's get started. Here we are, here we are guys, here are the brand new sets of nippers. And let me talk a little about them right now. So on the left, we have the AHQ HN3. This is the one that has the little yellow uh, corner. These are the precision nippers. And on the right, we have the AHQ HN4s. These are the extreme precision nippers. Now both sets of nippers are single edge nippers and I'm going to show you the back graphic here to let you know what that means here. So a single edge nipper as you can see right here is just that. One of the edges is extremely sharp and it's the actual blade portion. The other side of the nipper is a, a flat area that the item the uh, the nipper can go up against and cut a very very straight precise cut. A lot of times when you have some of the less expensive nippers they've got two angled blades. Similar to scissors, but what happens is they come in and you're leaving that kind of triangle shaped bottom piece to it when you're cutting the part off. These get right up against the part. They're very, very small head. They can go right up against it and cut a very, very flush cut. Also, the benefit of that is when it does not stress the plastic. So how many times have you guys used inexpensive nippers and you go to cut the part, especially small parts like grab handles and things like that, and it stresses the plastic and it snaps it on the other side of the piece. This eliminates that. And I'm going to show you all these under uh, action, you know, cutting off parts off the tree and you'll see what I'm talking about. But it completely eliminates all of the stress fractures that you can get. You know, like I said, you get that little snap on the other side because you're trying to cut a small part out and it's got to flex it to get it off. That eliminates right here. Now, the main difference when we say the, the precision and the extreme precision is the this ones on the right here have an extra bevel that's been put in there. So it's a very, very tiny little head in there and they get in there and they create an extra fine bevel in there. Extreme precision cuts on it there. Okay, so now I've talked about those. Let's open them up and put them through their paces. Okay, here are the HN3 nippers. These are the ones that are $19.99. And uh, a couple things I want to talk to you guys about that are on both sets of nippers. First of all, it is going to come with the little pouch right here. And the pouch is very important to help protect your nippers when you're done with them. Put them inside the pouch, seal it up right there, and that way if you accidentally drop them or do anything else, you're protecting them with the outer edge there. That is, like I said, inside both sets of nippers. Now also in the nippers, let's zoom in a little bit here so you can see close up. They are all going to have the spring in the middle. The spring in the middle, of course, makes the, the nipper spring back open so it's always ready to be used immediately. There's also a stop that prevents it from going too far and damaging your blade so you don't, you know, ratchet down on it. And there's also a stop over on the other side here to keep you from opening them up too much. Now, as you can see here, this side here, the left side, is the blunt side. So it's still pretty small, but it's not got the sharp edge 
that the other side does. So when we close them together here, they close down, make a neural tight fit. We'll flip it over here. You can see how smooth that is up against it. So imagine that now when it goes up against the plastic, it's gonna cut very, very smoothly, just like that. Okay, I've pulled out just slightly a little bit here uh, so you can see a little bit better up. So here we've got the nippers again and how you would take out a part. So we've got our smooth edge here and you can see we can get it right up against the part. Do a little squeeze, take a couple of them off here. And how quickly you can go down the line with the nippers and just cut the part out, rotate it around here. And these happen to be a set of the, uh, the M10 tracks for my new 16 scale kit. So once again, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way too of the camera. So we cut those parts off. And what I'll do now is I'm going to show you close up how there is virtually nothing left of the plastic there. I mean, literally one little pass with the sanding stick and it is, it is done. So quickly, easy, and without any stress on it there. Okay, now you are looking at the Andy's Hobby Headquarters HN4. These are the extreme precision nippers. And I'm gonna zoom in again, just like I did on the other ones, to let you see. Uh, you can see immediately that like the stop, the stop is a little bit more robust on here. Same thing with the one over here. And hopefully, don't wanna get two, but this is the blunt side. Here is the other beveled side. And hopefully you can see it. There's another extremely sharp edge that is put on here to get it really, really close up. So when you close it, this side you won't see it, of course. But look at the precision on that. The line almost goes completely away. So imagine any plastic part that gets in between that is going to be cut off fairly smoothly, I would say. And, of course, it's got our logo on both of them as well. And, of course, the travel pouch is also included okay zooming in again on some of my track pieces here uh, that one's already been cut out so we'll try it on this side here move my hand out of the way and put this right up against it get this side cut out and let you see how smooth that is there's virtually nothing left there behind. Okay, now I want to show you some really cool cutting. So this is some parts off of the new DOSWORK 16 scale 234 SDK FC 234, I should say. And we've got some really fine lines here. Uh, these are some like brake lines or something like that for the kit. And you can imagine trying to get inside there and cutting those off with regular nippers, you, there's a good possibility you're going to flex it and crack those, and then good luck trying to get them back together perfectly. But I want to show you how smoothly these go up inside. So first of all, I should get them going the right way. We put them inside just like that, and other than me lifting up on it, you see that it basically does nothing to move the actual piece. It is just cutting through it like butter. And before you know it, you've got your part cut off, no damage to it, and a slight, light little tiny burr. I mean, so tiny that, I mean, it's barely impossible to see it right there, but you'd still hit it with a little sanding stick, but there you go. And also getting off the little nubs on the other side, hold your finger right up again to push it up against real smooth. No damage at all. And look at that. Look how easy it is to cut your parts off now without damaging anything. Now, once again, I'm using the fours because they are the best type of cutter for those precise things. But this is the other thing I want to show you. So here's a fairly thick piece of plastic here. Now, we don't recommend you cutting out giant, you know, like stock out of these. This is for use in on plastic model kit type plastic. So like the runner right here. But this goes through this like a hot knife through butter. How quickly with heart hardly any force at all it is so sharp that it just cuts right through this so quickly and actually the threes are very similar to that a little bit more pressure you have to put on it but it'll go right through it and honestly all through during the week i've been uh i've had these for a couple of days now we've been just demonstrating them in the store and i've got a set on the counter that i go hey just here's some plastic cut this out see what you think of it every single person that tried that immediately bought them because it's just so incredible how soft and easy it goes through this plastic and how precise of a cut you can get. So whether it be these little pieces like this in here, 
put your, your cutter right up against it. Make sure it's flush, goes right through. And I mean, you can see it, it left virtually nothing behind there. So excellent for doing all of that. The threes are good. The fours are obviously a lot better at that, especially all these little thin little pieces. And that's the benefit of having that uh, single edge nipper. You're not going to flex the part and break it like that. Well, there you go, guys. There is a look at the two new cutters, uh, nippers, sprue cutters, what, like I said earlier, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is the Precision Nipper, and this is the Extreme Precision Nipper. And remember, both of them are available on our website, both in Europe and here in the United States. Also, I should point out, too, uh, if you've been watching my videos for the last probably about four months now, you may have seen these. These are the nippers. These were actually the very first prototypes that we had done. Uh, the blue was a little bit too light for me because we wanted to use the dark blue, which is, you know, my color that I use most of the time on my products. But if you look in the background, like on the, the M10, the Achilles video, I am still working on. I will have that out soon. It's been, you know, Black Friday week and Christmas time and all that kind of stuff. It's been kind of tough getting stuff out. But these have been the prototypes that I've been using right along, and they're still cutting as sharply as these four months after the fact. So keep that in mind. If you want to go back and see, you can see me using these uh, on all of the videos. So like I said, these are all both available right now on our website. So if you want to go check them out, I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. And please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.